This video is sponsored by Pecron. So I'm here with a Pecron E1500 LFP portable power station solar generator. And I took this device and put it through various tests. And I wanna share those results with you and see if this is one that you should consider purchasing for your needs. A great use for a power station like this Pecron E1500 LFP would be on the job site. And since this has an output of 2200 watts, the AC inverter is rated at 2200 watts, it should easily be able to run both of these saws. Um, and since it has over 1.5 kilowatt hours of capacity, it could make a great uh, job site power station as well. Okay, so I have both saws connected here and I'm going to go ahead and set this aside so I have room to work and I'm going to monitor uh, the wattage output on this device as we run both of these saws. Okay, got my safety gear on here, ear protection, eye protection. Let me put on my gloves and then we'll start with the table saw here. So this power station has no problem running the power saw. So this power station easily ran the table saw and it easily ran the chop saw separately. So definitely this works fine with power tools. So first of all, here on the front, we have three regular 120 volt outlets. We have USB-A and USB-C ports. We have some DC output ports here, and then we have some DC input ports, and then we have our AC charging port when you charge it with a regular 120 volt outlet. If you wanna turn this device on, you can just simply hold either the AC or DC button here. For example, I'll hold down the AC button, screen powers on, and the AC inverter will turn on shortly. Okay, so right now this is showing at just under 119 volts. And let's go ahead and plug in the cooktop. We'll run that for a minute and see what the voltage looks like. Okay, right now I have both sides of the cooktop on and we're still over 118 volts there. Okay, with both burners of that cooktop on, we're pulling over 1700 watts of power. Once again, this is rated at up to 2200 watts. Okay, with the heater on and the small burner, we're close to that 2200 watt output there. Okay, I've connected a fan and now I'm pretty much right at that 2200 watts. So let's let it run that for just a few minutes and make sure that it can continuously hold that rating. Okay, I have this completely charged up to 100%. I'm now going to perform a discharge test to see how efficient this AC inverter really is. So this has over 1.5 kilowatt hours of capacity, but when you convert that DC power to AC power, there's always a little bit of loss. Some of that loss is due to the screen running, the fans keeping it cool, but also some loss with that conversion, that AC inverter converting that power from DC to AC. So I did a full discharge of this device with a heater running on high, pulling around 1400 plus watts, and the results came in, and this device was able to put out around 1.35 kilowatt hours of energy before it shut off and went to zero. And that means that this device with everything incorporated had a loss of around 12.1%. So that's really not bad at all, being able to use 88% of the stated capacity after losses. So that's definitely very respectable and totally fine. When it comes to charging this device, when connected to a 120 volt outlet, this can receive up to 1400 watts and in my charging test, I was able to get it well over 1300 watts of charging. So it definitely charges very quickly and you should be able to fully charge this in around 1.8 hours. Beyond charging this portable power station with a grid, you can charge it with up to 800 watts of solar. And I have here the Pecron PV200 200 watt 
portable solar panel. And uh, it's a really good compact solar panel. It only weighs a little bit over 17 pounds and folded up like this, it's roughly two feet by two feet. When you unfold it, it's two feet by just a little bit over seven feet, but super light, super easy to carry around. And I love that it has this little zip pouch for the cord and it's a nice long cord, which I like. The power station comes with this cord here that I can plug the solar panel into and then plug this into the device here. And although it is a, a somewhat cloudy day, um, the sun is peeking through the clouds here and there. It's a partly cloudy day. Um, we're not gonna get the full 200 watts, obviously, but I'm just curious to see how much we get on a somewhat cloudy day and also just show you how easy it is to set this thing up. I really love that this is magnetic here. As you open this up, this part's magnetic. So no clipping, anything like that. It just sticks together. Okay, so once you unfold this, all you need to do is prop it up here with the kickstands that are in the back. And you can play with the angle to make it uh, catch as much sun as possible. Uh, but that should be sufficient for now. I'm going to go ahead and connect the Pecron power station to this and we'll see how much we get out of it. Okay, so I have a port here that I can plug this into. Put our solar panel in. So when the sun is out at this angle, I'm getting like 160 watts out of this. That's definitely very solid. Once again, this is a 200 watt solar panel array and uh, that's definitely totally good. This solar panel does have a dust and waterproof rating of IP67, so that's definitely good. I'm going to disconnect this and then fold it up and show you how easy that is. Okay, so folding this up is really simple. We're just gonna do it like this. Once again, the magnets stick there and then we can button these back down so they don't flop like that. And we're good to carry it again. Um, this cable is all stored away in this pouch. It's got a great little handle and it only weighs a little over 17 pounds. Definitely really like how portable and easy this is to handle. Pecron also sells expansion batteries for this device if you want a little bit more energy storage. And you can add up to two expansion batteries to this. And each one of those expansion batteries has a little bit over three kilowatt hours of storage capacity. So if you add two of those expansion batteries to this device, that gets you over 7.6 kilowatt hours of energy storage with those expansion batteries and the storage capacity of this device. This power station did come with this really nice case here. Um, very well made case and in the case are all the different cords it came with. So we have our standard charging cable for MC4 solar panel connection. So you have that. We have the cable that you use to charge this with a regular 120 volt outlet. We have this connector here with these alligator clips that you can connect to a battery. We have this cable here that connects to a car 12 volt adapter. And also this Anderson solar charging adapter as well. When it comes to portability, the top of the case does feature two really nice handles. So it's very comfortable to grip this and lift it. And it weighs a little bit under 40 pounds. Size wise, it's around a foot tall, around 9.3 inches in depth and around 14.8 inches wide. So it's somewhat compact, not that heavy and easy to carry around. In addition to the AC and DC ports it has here on the front, it also has a wireless charging pad for a cell phone here on the top. And I did test that and it works very well. So that's also very handy if you just wanna charge your phone quickly and set that on the top there. So overall, I really like this portable power station and also the solar panel they sent me as well. It's built very well. It has plenty of storage capacity for basic tasks. I also like that it was able to run my power saws without a problem. So that's all very solid. If you'd like to find out more about it and purchase one for yourself, I will put a link down in the video description where you can find out more and purchase one. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I do wanna say once again, thank you to Pecron for sponsoring this video and also for sending me the power station and the solar panel to test. I also want to say that if you'd like to support this channel, I have created a Patreon community, and I want to say thank you to all of those of you who do support me through Patreon. Your support 
really makes a big difference and does help make videos possible on this channel. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.